Pisces, how are you doing? Welcome to your monthly, your second monthly reading in May. This is for the Gemini season uh, for the next sort of four weeks. We did have, I've done a um, how water signs uh, connect with the Gemini elements and qualities within their sign according to the Astro Flower. Um, it will be linked around my head at some point. Um, I would go and see it. It's actually really quite informative and helps you to, um, to realize what you want to be concentrating on in life or what aspects of you you want to be concentrating on in order to get the best out of life. Because this month here is going to really feel like life is pulling you forward. And that can be very tiring. But if you give it direction, it can be very fortuitous. So, um, and there's very particular ways in which it, that sort of happens in according to your elements and your qualities, basically. So without further ado, let's bring up your astro flower. So let's just have a look at that. Overall energies here. Karmic message for your relationship side. Karmic message for your financial side. Influence on the universe. Influence on past self, future self, and general outcome. You could look at it as week one, week two, week three, week four as well. When you go back and watch it um, to get sort of like um, an up-to-date view of what's going on. Um, yes, so without further ado, let's just go in there. That's your relationship side. This is your financial side. Let's see what's going on with the overall energies here. Excuse me. My phone seems to be a little bit... Okay. I think there's like the overall energies here are asking you to be a pillar within your life. It's as if to sort of saying, um, stay constant. Don't get caught up in other people's stories. That's what it's sort of saying to me here. Yeah. Be in alignment with yourself. Step into a whole new paradigm in the way in which you engage in life on your relationships and on your financial side. Uh, it's almost as if like you're building your being that pillar is like you being one of those um, groups of two ones. It's the coming together of two plans. And I think this is where you're, as I said, I think you're being a pillar for other people. I think maybe it's combining your plan for life uh, with someone else. This could be a new job as much as it could be a new relationship. It's the marriaging or the unison between two um two people or two entities um with a definite plan going forward and i think this is where i think you've got that i think on your um i think it's very much on your financial side more than anything else but we will see let's just have a look what's going on in your karmic message on your relationship side There's a lot of flowers here, almost like it, it, it's like there's a there's a lot of beautiful smells in that. It's almost as if like you can almost taste the beauty of life. And I think this is where your karmic mission is to explore your subtle connections to everything that is around you. And um, you know, you have this whole sort of thing where um your energy is consuming the energy of Gemini here. And this is, this is, uh, we saw that on the elements here. And it's, so you're consuming by this odors of life and getting into it. You're, you're pulling the beauty of, of all of aspects of life and connecting with another person. This is really fortuitous, really, for sort of love in a way. I think this is where you're really engaging in a relationship um, or connecting with your higher self or connecting with other people. But whatever it is, it's just really welcoming in the, um, the subtle energies of the beautiful odors of flowers, you know, the perfumes of flowers or the, the colors of the flowers and just really enjoying connection with another person, I think is possibly a really good thing. And I think that's what you should be doing and literally consuming it, just allowing it to come onto your karmic path. And it's going to help you to sort of enjoy the moment a lot more. Let's just see what the connection with the universe is. It, 
it's going to help you to realize what you want out of life and to be a lot smarter about how you engage in the relationships that are around you. Seven of Swords. There you go. A lot smarter. I was going to say it was a Seven of Swords. I should really say a lot more of what I see. But yeah, it's through this consumption of life and you get the same sort of thing here. You're consuming your connection to the universal energies around you, which is helping. And it's like you're bringing in a lot of advantages because you're you're disarming any problems in your life because you, you you're going off to the the beautiful things in life by consuming the beautiful things you haven't got time for the rubbish at the moment that's what the universe is sort of, sort of saying oh we're not going to give you any rubbish and you're, or you're being very very selective about how you engage in the with this spiritual sort of side of life or the world that is around you in that sort of sense uh and in people's stories more than anything else um let's see what your past is all about your past seems to have um exhausted you yeah page of wands i think you've been learning a lot about your passions and, and running from pillar to post uh that's that transition that we get here the fixed fire in um uh gemini but you've got that fixed earth as well and you've got that mutable uh fire down at the base there uh, with your connection to the universe this is where you've been playing with passions in life in the past and it's been a little bit exhausting i think more than anything else you've learned a lot there is no doubt about it but it is it, it, it has dried you out it's dried out your waters a little bit i think you're now starting to recognize that you need to replenish your emotional sort of depth and um energies uh in life uh that's what it's doing and and you will learn even more when you do that you will learn even more about your past and how, how you apply yourself and the passions and connections with other people uh let's just see what the general um what the future is trying to bode you on to sort of like bring you towards and then it is there Feeling at um, feeling at home and at one with your position and feeling your place within the relationships that are around you. They get the devil cards. Attention to detail, usually. Um, I'm coming. I get back to that whole sort of thing, and I think I was saying it there, and also I'm here. Um, it's about um, being a pillar for other people. But don't get involved in their stories. And I think this is where you're starting to recognize that maybe in the future, um, in the next month when we go into cancer season, when you really start pushing the boundaries and enjoying that connection with another person, you don't want to get distracted by other people that dead end roads, basically. And I think this is where you're starting to get to grips with that in the coming months. But being attentive to the future in regards to the finer details, I think is really important uh, in order for you to stay true to that, to allow that. That's where the intelligence is going to, or that that intelligent way of interacting with the universe is going to, you know, um, dumb down that sort of devil card, as it were. Because I don't think it's particularly good. It's going to recognize that some people may not necessarily have your best hearts. Uh, your, your interest, you know, the best hearts of interest, whatever it is. I can't say the phrase now. Um, okay, your general outcome for this. Now, this is really nice. It's like it's like a, a peace within your heart. You're at peace within your heart. That's what it seems like. You couldn't get that better. I think this is a judgment here. You are responding to this calling, this connection with someone uh, around you is really good uh it's really really nice it does make you feel at one and then this is why in the following month this is why you got to be attentive to the details because people may not necessarily like you being at one with yourself in your financial side you get an eight of swords here Ah, magician. You, 
you have the, the I think this is what it is. You're breaking free from something and you're allowing yourself to manifest your own future. And this is possibly where you're manifesting a new job, a new business, a new project, or combining with someone else, which is helping you to manifest what you what you want out of life in regards to your material world. And yeah, it's your it's your karmic mission to really go ahead and start really pushing it more than anything else. And because you've got that cardinal energy that flows through you, as much as Gemini has that cardinal energy that flows through them uh, on this same sort of side, it's going to give you real direction once you start manifesting your future. Uh, let's just see what goes on on the uh, connection to the universe. Here we go. It, uh, there's a lot of emotions that come in here. Uh, it's almost like a fountain of emotions. Um, that seem to be very passionate. King of Swords, wisdom, a fountain of wisdom. That's possibly what it is. And it's really coming out here. And I think the universe is asking you to exercise your wisdom when manifesting. So if you're sort of saying to yourself, I want to get a job and I want to be the CEO of Google, there's a big chance you're probably not going to get that. And that's where your wisdom and your judgment is coming in. I think the universe is helping you that to keep you on the on something that's possible rather than impossible. I think you need a little aspect of that within your life, being realistic. Okay, uh, what's the past or the future? Faith. You've been faithful to the company that you're working for. You've been faithful to your project or your business. It seems like you're the one that's been shouldering the work. Yeah, you've been faithful. You've done a lot. There's a lot of healing that comes out of this. It's, um, you know, if anyone had to sacrifice something, it seems like you were the one who has to do the extra hours and stuff like that. And I think this is where you can start manifesting something else, where this business job or projects will start working for you. And I think in the past, you've realized that, and it's going to allow you to, Put yourself in a position which is much, much more comfortable for you. On your general, on the um, future, future is all about an opportunity. You're really trying to manifest a, this this job that you want or this business or get your project off the ground. Uh, and it's giving you this sort of like focal point. This is that two of wands comes in on the four of wands. This is what I said. I think your financial side is going to be a bit more, uh, you're going to be a bit more sort of concentrated on that side. You've got a plan for the future. Uh, and I think what you're manifesting here is at the end of the day is you're going to have to implement that plan. You've got to put that plan into action. Okay. Uh, let's just see what the general outcome is for this month here. In order to, the, the magician has every element on the table there. But in order to do it, you need to have the recipe right. Not too much of one thing, not too little of another. You know, that sort of thing. Not too much salt, not too little of pepper. You know, it's, you have to have that combination which is right. And I think uh, this is what it's, you're learning here. Oh, yeah, it is success. The question is, is what are you going to do with this success? I think you've got the balance right now and you're manifesting your, this job, this business, whatever you're so, this offering that's coming into your life, you're creating the success and you should recognize that you actually um, deserve it because you, you know, you, you, you are the one who's receiving that, that crown, that winning crown, as it were. Because you have created it. And that's, you've got to be creative by being realistic. And that's where I think you're going to get the victories in your life. Let's just see what's going on with the Light Seers cards. Moon, Scorpio card here. I think this unison here, I think this victory on your, this relationship side, uh, on this financial side, uh, is going to be a bit of a surprise, actually. I know you're working on it, but I think you'll be... Um, pleasantly surprised of what it brings to the surface. That's what that fountain is all about, maybe. It's what that water there is all about. 
It's helping you to see the unforeseen. And this is the same thing on this side here with the relationship that's really blossoming and you're responding to this calling of love, as it were, or calling to a relationship or connecting with other people. This is where you're going to see where certain elements around you may not necessarily want the best for you uh, on your relationship side. Yeah, you're going on a mission. You're being called to your judgment. You know, that's the general outcome. And it's on your karmic path in order to do that, uh, to go after that. And as I said, I think, you know, um, being that pillar and connecting with other people in a very particular way uh, is going to be, is going to, you want to consume life, as it were, uh, all those beautiful smells and stuff like that. And that's what's giving you the mission. That's what's stopping you from deviating from your pathway. And allowing you to be smart and concentrate on your ultimate goals, which seems to be that judgment card of, oh, this is what I should be doing, or this is the person I should be with, or these are the people I should be with, sort of scenario. Um, let's see what's going on with the three of wands. Yes, a new offering. I think you've been, um, the page of wands, sorry, did I say the three of wands? Not the three of wands. Uh, the page of wands here. Uh, you've learned a lot about your passions. I think this learning of your passions in the past is going to give you a real um, sense of um, uh, physically what you've done in the past. Um, no, you know you can do it. So now you've got this opportunity to open up into um, relationships, and this could be family, friends, community, whatever it is, a one-to-one -one relationship. But it's going to be built on something that's something that you know that's very tangible. So you're not playing blind, as it were, uh, in regards to the relationships. It's being you're, you're, it's very sturdy and solid with that foundations of that of the past to your future. Yeah, I think this is this is what I said here with the devil card. I think you're going to realise what people are good to work with and what aren't. Uh, I think it's pretty straightforward on that sort of thing. I think in the coming months you'll start to realize, you know, who about you is worthwhile, you know, investing in and who is not worth investing in. And it's a, it's an exchange. It's a mutable exchange of re people recognizing how good you are and recognizing how good they are. <coughs> and this comes out of this happiness. And I think this happiness is all to do with that. It's all to do with you going after your dreams and your aspirations and connecting with another people in a very good sort of relationship side uh, of life you're really sort of um starting to own it and it's a mission of happiness and as i say i think this is the difficulty has been that life or relationships may have tired you out you may have had people around you that just sucked your energy out you know although that energetically that can never happen but uh, they put you they 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 maintain a certain position that makes you very very tired um, and I think you're realizing that now. Um, and it's it's like a release button for you. It's absolutely beautiful. With the magician here, yeah. I think out of that there, I think where you've given so much in the past, you're now starting to manifest something completely different because you don't want to keep giving and not receiving. And I think that's the attitude that you're taking forward. And you're going to need to plan that. But it's it, it appears that... Um, through the victory that's coming up for you in this month um or this progression on your career path or getting that job or you know progressing your business on or starting it or doing the project you're being a lot more clear about where you should be going and you've got to be true to that you've got to stay true to your inner wisdom stay true to that sort of realistic sort of what can be done what can be manifested within your life the moment you stick to that realism you're going to quell all your doubts and you're going to be a lot stronger about how you actually go forth and go on uh, into the future and create um, your success. Yeah, it's like, you know, this is the four of swords in the other deck here. Let me just take that here because it's a little bit easier to see. On that four of swords, you can see that um, heart that is just being repaired. And that's what's happening for you more than anything else. You're repairing that. You obviously believe when you know when you work in something, Pisces. You really do work in something, um, and you give over your you know you give over your soul to the whole thing. You, you know you can be a bit like workaholics, 
And this is where, you know, you gave your heart and your, to it. And now you're getting healing from that in the past because you're moving on. Yeah, there's ultimate success for you. And this success needs to be managed properly. It shouldn't be just sort of, um, you know, it shouldn't be just sort of uh, um, like thrown away, as it were. It shouldn't be just sort of like uh, done on a wing and a prayer. You've really got to engage in it and plan for your how to manage your success. That's what the coming month is all about. In order to get perpetual fortunes coming into your life, you're going to have to manage this success coming up for you. These two cards wanted to come out. Both of them wanted to come out. With the six of six of wands, this, this victory, this ultimate glow up, really, is because you're staying true to one cup, true to a direction. You're being very clear about yourself. And this is allowing you to free you up. This is very much a you card. Um, the Queen of Cups, you are being you and staying true to you. And I think that's what we can see here. And this is what you're actually manifesting. It's going to make you, you are your own success. And once you do that, your infectious, joyous, enthusiastic attitude that you gave away last uh, in the past and was a little bit, it seems like you were betrayed, um, is going to be completely different this time. You can give your heart solely to something because you are manifesting it yourself. Uh, and you've got a lot more control over it. So, there you go, Pisces. I hope you enjoyed it. Please do go and see um, the water signs and according to Gemini. It will be linked around my head. Give you a really good heads up of how to approach life. Um, and it shows you like the active working of the, uh, the astro flower because it's so much more than tarot. Tarot's great. I really do enjoy it. I love reading. But uh, the Astro Flower is so much more deeper than that. Um, yeah, I will see you there. I'll either see you also on Cymatic TV, our sister channel, All About Energy, or I'll see you here, whichever way it is. Thank you very much for all the appreciation that you show through YouTube. That's liking, sharing, subscribing, all of that malarkey. Uh, absolutely lovely. Uh, yes, in the meantime, don't forget, life should be fun, so please do enjoy.